for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. D.A. will join us tonight on the sideline. And now the Lakers starting group. In at small and power forward, it's LeBron and Vanderbilt. Then it's Anthony Davis. Then there's Christie. And it's Reeves in at the two spot. And for the Spurs, Vassell in the wing along with Johnson. Harrison Barnes is out there with Wembenyama. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. And we know, Greg, most of the talk coming into this game focused on the front court matchup. A lot of talent in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big leg up in the physical and mental aspect of this game. Paul, one of the very best passers in the game, and he gives it to you right on time and on target. And it's good two points. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Boy, you gotta love that assist by LeBron. And Benyama outside. Here's Johnson. And the slam dunk by Johnson. Taking the gloves off. You like how Johnson attacks the rim once he's there. Here's oh, whoa, man. Oh, oh, Tell you what, just add that one to the highlight reel. James is truly one of the greatest slam dunkers of all time. And the wide open shot from Paul drills it from outside. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to go on Keldon Johnson. And LeBron used to getting hit. This is the level of attention this man attracts from the D. And now the NBA's all-time leading scorer. Clark, LeBron did something most people thought would never be done. I'm in that camp, Greg. I tell you, Kareem was my guy. He was my idol as I was growing up. I never thought his record would be surpassed. It just shows you how remarkable LeBron has been in his production, in preparation, in taking care of his body. And this guy is still going strong. That makes him the king. And the basket by Vassell. And that's another basket for him. They have really come out blazing here in the first. From downtown, carries it from three-point range. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other. Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Johnson in the corner. Fires from deep. Anthony Davis with the rebound. The Lakers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. It's good. James has got five now. His overall size and strength really sets James apart from the rest of his peers when you think about his skill set inside. Paul passes to Wembenyama. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. 
And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Tremendous hustle working hard for that bucket. So it's San Antonio now. Three-point lead. Pass to Barnes. To the inside. Here's Wimbenyama. You know, with that kind of height mismatch, you've got to send help defensively. Lakers have gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. First quarter play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Pass to Reeves. James has a two-pointer. The rebound by Victor Rembenyama. San Antonio leading by four. In court for years, the Lakers have been the premier destination for free agents. Think that's still the case now? I do. I mean, it's still Los Angeles. The history of the Lakers is one of the premier franchises in the league along with the Celtics. So I think cap room is the driver, though. That's always the great equalizer in this day and age. And I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well. Paul with the steal. And even three on three break. And he jams it with authority. And he's not the biggest guy, but Vassell can get up there when he needs to. Passes to Davis. A three. Barnes grabs the miss. San Antonio's gone three or four on three pointers in the first quarter, doing well from long range. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Spurs. How about the ball movement so far? I mean, the unselfishness, everyone here just playing for one another, and that can be infectious. You know, another thing they've done really well, I think, is get quality shots from behind the three-point line and knock them down, too. San Antonio making a switch here. Sohan's checked in. And really, as solid as he's been at the line, I had already chopped those points up. Goes to show you, though, don't take anything for granted. A three ball, good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Such a height mismatch out on the perimeter, and they give up the triple. Paul passes to Vassell. Paul, right side, and the pass to Wembenyama. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got assist number eight now on the night. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Spurs leading by seven. Zohan, the pass to Wembenyama. And Wembenyama throws it down. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. you got to be mindful of that. Pass to Sohan. From past the arc, Christian Wood grabs the rebound. And so Wood will bring it up for the Lakers. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Russell, no luck. And Benyama against Russell. Pass to Vassell. The three from Barnes. Knocks down the three ball. And now it's a 12-point San Antonio lead. 
And so it's Victor Wembenyama making things happen for the Spurs. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a comfortable margin for the Spurs here, guys. Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. Then it's Jones. And it's Champagny in at the three spot. So that's who San Antonio starts the second one. Jones, no luck. Lakers trail by nine. You know Clark when he's 100%. Anthony Davis, one of the premier big men in the game. Hey, I would take that qualifier off of it, Kevin. How about just one of the best players, period? He can pick and pop. He can pick and roll. He can post up. He can do everything offensively and defensively. He's unique as a rim protector with the ability to defend on the perimeter, too. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks very much. LeBron James still has a singular focus. He says, I'm a winner and I want to win. Competing for championships has been my goal since I entered the league. Once you know how to get there, playing basketball at this level, just to be playing basketball, is not in my DNA anymore. Kevin, he certainly has that special sauce. He is letting it be known in championship medal to boot. David, thank you. Takes the three, and again, Los Angeles with the triple. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Ball's knocked loose. And now Russell pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. Passes it to Champagne. And just miss after miss right now. The Lakers trail to the right side. And he hits it to tie the game up. You know, he does have a game outside of the paint, but Wood is at his best close in. Here's Champagny, and that comes off the assist by Jones. Champagny's got six points in the quarter. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. There's the three. Rebounded by the Spurs. And there's the foul. It'll go on Christian Wood. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And, and really a tough break for the D. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. A three from Wembenyama. It's good for his eighth consecutive basket in only eight tries. Wow. Feeling it. No doubt. Oh, my! Oh, my wow! Wow! <laughs> Really doesn't matter what position LeBron is playing. The point, the four or the five, James changes games with his passing ability. Tries the spin move. Johnson a wide open look. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Plays it up and banks it in. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue they they change teams suddenly taking the next step what can key that lead kevin it's not all just opportunity and fit i think there can be a mental component 
as well. A, a fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try new things. The three. Rem Benyama with the rebound. Rem Benyama has got rebound number five here tonight. This one for three. Still looking for his first make after that miss. He's 0 for 2. Here's LeBron. Lakers working the ball around now. The pass to Henson over Paul. And there's another one for the Lakers. Spurs leading by six. Pass to Wembenyama. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever next. Necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg. This time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And Collins gets double teamed. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Here's Paul over LeBron. Capable of guarding any position. LeBron is also skilled at just contesting shots. And Davis throws it down hard. You know, that's one that'll stay with us for a while. I mean, Davis, one of those guys that can really electrify a crowd, no matter what building he's in. And finished off by Collins. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. James looking around. There's the dish to Davis. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. That is the savvy of LeBron on display. Doesn't just convert, but draws the foul and has the chance to tack another one on his point total. Rem Benyama, he's checked in for Collins. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the San Antonio Spurs. And James picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Wembenyama finds Barnes. Back to Wembenyama. Wow, that makes him a perfect 10 for 10. Double-digit perfection. And I like when Barnes is focused on moving the ball. I mean, it makes his team better. I love his willingness to get that ball moving. Teams absorbing hits on the drive. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. And what do you expect from Vassell? He's an accurate shooter from the perimeter. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Dishes it to Paul. Johnson outside. Nobody near Barnes. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Boy, you got to respect the long-range accuracy of Barnes now. When he gets a little daylight, he's dangerous from the perimeter. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. The Spurs shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. And those aren't the kind of numbers they can afford to repeat throughout this season. And Paul drills both of them. 
You know, Chris Paul has probably forgotten more about basketball than most of us know. He's an encyclopedia of knowledge for the game. That'll do it for the first half. Spurs lead by 12. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what did you see in the first half? Uh, we had ball movement. You know, we weren't in mud. Guys were in attack mode. Nobody held the ball. You know, you pass, catch, or shoot. And we did that a lot in the first half. Yeah, you had them swiveling, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. We're seeing a tremendous game from Victor Wembanyama. As impressive as the block totals are from him early on, they don't even tell the whole story. He's changed countless others. Yeah, you know, he's been up in the air so often, he's been absolutely a pest on the defensive end. Taking a look at the Lakers. Davis is out there with Hayes. Then it's Rui Hachimura. Then it's James. Here's Hayes. Buries it down low. Hayes has got his second bucket of the game to go. Here's Vassell. We're always hearing the debate, who is the greatest of all time? Well, Clark, do you think passing Kareem's all-time story mark finally puts LeBron out in front? Kevin, that in and of itself puts LeBron in rarefied air, no doubt. But when you're talking about the greatest player of all time, we all have our opinion. It's just so hard, I think, to effectively debate players across different eras. I just say there have been a ton of great players throughout the history of the game, and LeBron is certainly at the top of the list, no matter when he played. Spurs leading by three. Barnes right side. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Barnes has got 14. He's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. And, you know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. And just feeding the open man. Nice recognition there from Vassell. Pass to Henson. It's good, and the San Antonio lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Hachimura. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. And here are the Lakers. They're on a 14-5 run. A nice shot by Henson. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. And the foul on Rui Hachimura. That's his first foul. Los Angeles on D. It's a one-point game. LeBron against Paul. LeBron powering inside. Hey, I really like what I'm seeing from LeBron here tonight, keeping it simple. He's going to the hot hand, which is him. That's pretty good. Poke loose. Johnson with it. And Hachimura picks him up defensively. And Wimbenyama throws it down. 
Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. An A's kick to Hachimura. Takes a three. Henson's shot is off. The Spurs have gone three or six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Hachimura against Vassell. It's stolen by Hachimura. And two free throws coming. Up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And when Hachimura is looking to score, it sometimes forces the D to get aggressive. Love the energy. Collins checked in for San Antonio. Hachimura hits them both. Here's Vassell. Eight points for him. Here's Collins. It's hauled in by Wood. For Los Angeles, they've gone 9 of 10 on their attempts in the third quarter. That is 90% from the field. What a roll they're on. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Paul against Wood. Takes a shot at the elbow, and that one hits back iron. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And the added strength coming into play for Vassell. Nice job scoring through the contact. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stance for the Lakers. Well, they've continued to play pedal to the metal. Leaking out and capitalizing with these when they get opportunities in the open court. And they've also not only created turnovers tonight, but converted on them. All game long, that strategy has been paying off. Hachimura, the pass to Reeves. Three-pointer. Sinks the three-pointer. Reeves has got six here in this quarter. Third quarter here and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. On the wing, Johnson. A three-pointer, no good. The Lakers in the lead. Hachimura finds Russell. Collins grabs the miss. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Back to Vassell. No good on the three well defended that time he's a shooter that the d has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger reeves gets the bucket exactly what you want from your point guard nice dime to the open teammate by russell down low and finish off by collins and he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area he is and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Back to Barnes. Inside. Vassell. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. Barnes has got his third assist on the night. And the foul called on
Austin Reeves. That's foul number two for him. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Substitution on the court. 27 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Jones, and Davis sends it back. If you don't know exactly where Davis is, he's going to deny your shot, so you got to be aware of his presence. Jones dishes to Collins, and they recover it. Let's the three fly. That shot off the mark. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Lakers on top, leading by a point. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. Then it's Trey Jones. Then it's Barnes. That's the San Antonio five. And they take the lead. Rem Benyama has got 26. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one out. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swing. From inside, here's Sohan. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Spurs. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. How great have they been? I mean, shooting the ball from outside the arc, they have absolutely been lights out. From outside the arc, sinks the triple. It's been like this all night for both teams, the offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. For the three, Reeves can't... for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Takes the 13-footer. He can't get it to go. Spurs have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's Jones. I shot from 10 feet out. And the Spurs lead by two. And really, that's what you want every time down the floor. A simple, high-percentage shot. Reeves gets the bucket. It's been a tight one so far. Very close game. And matchups, it's really what it's all about. And these two teams are really equal. Again, the miss by Jones. Now, there's an example of good defense beating good offense. The three from Davis. You know, no, no wonder he's been off the mark. I think he's been a little bit 
too much in the background. Uninvolved so far tonight. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that. Yep, yeah, you're right. Finished hard with two hands on that stuff. Yeah, highly efficient. Nothing extra special there. Just effective. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. Passes it to Hayes. Outside for Davis. The Lakers moving the ball around. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Love the readiness of AD. He's already prepared himself to shoot before receiving the ball. San Antonio calls timeout. While we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? During that break, Greg Popovich really had some strong advice for his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thank you, David. From deep, James. The rebound by the Spurs. The Shells got four rebounds in this game. It's deflected. Paul with the steal. And there is a whistle, and that's going to go on Jackson Hayes. That's foul number two for him. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. L.A. has gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Davis with it. Now guarded by Wembenyama. Again, the miss by the Lakers. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. The pass to Barnes. Denial! And that'll be San Antonio as it goes out of bounds. Spurs retain possession. Just five on the clock. Wembenyama sets his screen for Paul. No good with the wing jumper. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron outside. It's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got six assists now in the game. He's such a clutch shooter. He just lives for the big shot. Pass to Wembenyama. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And Benyama has got the game tied up here for the Spurs. The Lakers have gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. James, the pass to Hayes. Back to LeBron. Outside, Davis. From deep. Paul grabs the board. San Antonio's gone 1 of 2 from three-point range here in the... the go-ahead bucket and Los Angeles guys uh, shooting the ball really well in this game 58 percent 
And stolen by Wembenyama. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Reeves. Jacks up a three. Wembenyama with the rebound. Wembenyama has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Answering the call, Kelvin Johnson comes up big. The Lakers trail. Pass to Reeves. Beyond the arc. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. LeBron James on the wing. Defended by Wimbenyama. Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They trail by three. 44 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Vassell wide open. There is the triple. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. There's the pass to Reeves. Fires the three. Gets the three to fall. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. 29 seconds left in the game. Barnes kicks to Paul. Pass to Wembenyama. Puts up a three. Off target from downtown. And stolen by Wembenyama. Come on. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now. So they've got to try to manage it. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. Well, LeBron's used to shouldering the load, and there's no question he can handle these big moments. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game. Yeah, those free throws make things a little more simpler right now. They just have to guard against the three-pointer. And now they foul and stop the clock. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And A.D. loves this. He takes pride in stepping up to the free throw line when it's close. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks here with the Davis AD gritty win. What was the difference? Great grind. Came out in the second half with a lot of energy, a lot of force. Coach got on us about not playing with force. Um, they were catching the ball too easy. Thanks so much, David. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.